I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the two different types of pre. I don't know if it's the day to week, but I am super excited to hit fucking chest today. Cause Vaughn's a skinny bitch. I mean, it's just so convenient that we all fucking work at the same place. <laughs> like, yeah, so it, I mean, it doesn't taste the best mixed together. Pump is fucking insane. Oh, look at this. Not even open yet. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy. All right, while I'm mixing this, I am wearing all the stuff, not currently, but I do have all the stuff that is dropping today. Shorts. Beautiful tank. And we also have... I don't know why I keep grabbing, grabbing orange shirts, but this is, um, if you guys remember the drip tees, like my favorite tees of all time, that stretchy material, that's what this is. And it has that nice little collar stripe. So it makes you look like kind of put together. And we have the gray sweats. You can never go wrong with the gray sweats. Um, the best part about these, like we have, the one thing we haven't done yet is uh, have a, just like a no cuff bottom. So there's no scrunchie or anything. So they're just like super casual and just they're comfy as fuck. So yeah, those are dropping today at 3 p.m. EST. So 12 p.m. PST uh, if you're over in Cali or that region. Uh, Code Vaughn. And yeah, um, thank you guys for supporting me. But right now, pre and then gym. So I will see you guys right before chest. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the two different types of pre. I don't know if it's the day to week, but I am super excited to hit fucking chest today. estimated deadline for the treats, uh, at least like a launch date. Keeps getting pushed back, but dead set for like middle April. We also are changing my pre over to essential. So we were trying to think of flavors yesterday. And personally, I want to go with like a sour candy slash like sour gummy, but there were some other good ideas, but let me know what kind of flavors you guys want to see. Like I'm not dead set on anything yet. So let me know in the comments right now. All right, so biggest thing, especially with free weight equipment. For me, I have super, super messed up shoulders. Biggest thing for dumbbell incline bench, you have to retract your scapula to the point where you're kind of like, where you're squeezing your back, uh, because if you don't, uh, your shoulder stability is gonna be all over the place. And when you're pushing the dumbbells up, uh, they're either gonna fall forward or fall backwards and it's gonna fuck up your shoulder real bad. And I know that from personal experience because probably like fresh out of high school, right when I got into college, I started getting into weightlifting and that kind of thing. I tossed a dumbbell up and it's just like, I brought it up, my arm went back, it fucked my shoulder up for like a good like three or four months. So I learned, I learned the hard way, but um, y'all don't have to. So make sure you try, like it's literally super simple. Like squeeze my shoulders back 
and then I try to tuck them down. And the easiest cue for that is literally just thinking like puffing your chest up. So like, he's back, chest up, and you lock that in, and then I kick him back, and you're locked in that, that position the whole time. Oh, there it is. The crack. We need some WD-40 on it. <laughs> Damn. Progression. <laughs> Damn. Progression. Love to see it. Cool. Fuck. Feel good. You know what that was? We're tracking my scapula. That's why I got that. Remember, <laughs> never forget. Ron. Yo. Name that movement. <laughs> I don't even know, bro. <laughs> you see on the hub. But I really don't understand, like, you can't do anything with that. Like, unless it's just literally to hold the bar, I can't picture a movement happening there. Just interesting. It is. The things you see in the gym, the things you see. Hey man. All right, so this is, honestly, it's one of my more favorite movements now. Uh, I learned this from Brett. Um, he's just like a fucking bodybuilding wizard. He has all the knowledge, but it's like a two-part um, two movement. You're gonna start out with uh, flies, and then you're gonna go straight into presses. Um, and since it's like, it's the seated cable machine uh, for the flies, you're gonna wanna almost like picture your hands going as far away from you as possible. So just create that distance between your, uh, your chest and your hands. Um, and then after you're fried with that, you move right into the presses. You're gonna be set up the same exact way. But on this, you're gonna wanna obviously push away from you. But instead of kind of just like pushing like out, like you would like on a bench where it's like fixed, you're gonna wanna drive your elbows, or at least the insides of your elbows together and not not make them touch, but get them as close as possible because that's going to squeeze the fuck out of your chest and uh, it's going to maximize the gain.
All right, so probably the biggest thing that helped me feel my shoulders when I'm doing exercises, uh, especially like lateral raises, uh, instead of trying to bring the weight up, um, especially with this movement, like if you're swinging your arms out, try to envision that you're pushing your hands through the walls. So like, instead of thinking vertically, kind of bring it into like a horizontal aspect and try to push your hands as far as weight, as far as possible away from you uh, as you bring them up. Um, and that really helped me develop that mind muscle connection that I've been lacking. So uh, try to picture that next shoulder push thing, whatever the fuck you're doing. Um, and yeah, honestly, that's probably like number one tip for that. And don't forget to keep your chest up. Cause if you don't, you're gonna fuck up your shoulders once again like I did when I was fucking dumb and young. So chest up and bring them shits out. Age yourself, bro. What? <laughs> You're like 23? <laughs> well, bro, I started in the gym fucking Ocean Club days. Bro. I know. So like four or five years ago, like I did not know how to lift in the slightest. And I would just go in. I was like the typical like, like 16, 17 year old who literally just went and tried to PR every single day. And I would leave the gym every fucking day with a new injury. So. I mean, where? Uh, the little things, bro, the little things. Go see the boys. See the boys? Yeah. At the warehouse? Oh yeah. Yeah, of course. Can't believe I'm about to say this, but I watched Bradley's vlog that he just posted. Bro, look how bad the lighting was. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> Yo. How did you know I was here? What really? made you? I saw you in the reflection. Oh, I was like, what in God's name? Right, so the video is going live at two, which <laughs> you guys are already going to be watching it. And then that means probably in like- An hour? No, 45 minutes? Yeah. 10 to, no, yeah, yeah. So like 45 to 50 minutes, the drop's going to be live. So, go to ball. <laughs> <laughs> It's like an adult arcade. Bro, what do you mean adult arcade? Does that mean Don? Don, Don? I, I just called like him Don. Like I almost called Von Don. Guys, where's this contract? <laughs> I'm ripping it up. <laughs> yes, I am. Thank you, Jack. Yes, I am. No. You're drinking a pea colored can. If your pea is that color, then you need to hydrate. Well, with more of your mouth, Alex. Why don't you stop taking Trend? I don't take Trend. Trend is a drug for cattle, What's not for humans. Bottle? What's in the bottle? That bottle. This bottle that has Mio and Publix select. purified water. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> you just have that on you just in case there's something else. You know what that is? You know what that meal is actually filled with? It's filled with the concentration of Cairo's pee. Cairo's is dark, by the way. <laughs> Cairo is. Um, not peeing in a bottle for me. Just leave it there. Oh, he's got that good, good. <laughs> Vaughn, do you understand that? No, I didn't get it. It's honestly, <laughs> is a good thing, trust me. It means you're pure. It means you're pure. No, I got the joke. Yeah, he got the joke. That's stupid. Then you get stuck in a dryer. It's like a, it's a hub reference. <laughs> Yeah, but like what This happened? is the second time we've referenced Hub. I know, this is the second time in the video. Just like comes to the rescue. No, I haven't. Has uh Do you know anyone? I've done any kind of role play where she gets stuck in the And that's how 
<laughs> That's how he got a kid. Actually, back to back arms. Because Vaughn's a skinny bitch. <laughs> That's going to be the intro of this video. <laughs> Changed my shirt again. So <laughs> me just keep taking like Sebastian shit at my place. I'm actually gonna get protein and pre and all this good stuff. So before we drop mine, you guys have to clear out the old one. Please. So yeah, please. Please. It's gonna be super sick because it's gonna it's gonna match the logo of like the essential one. That's gonna look um, so nice. Yeah, we're gonna have like the little Vaughn Streets character face, like the little cartoon guy on it. Ooh. It's gonna look super sick. But yeah, for now. I already have a bunch of sour stuff in my house. <clears throat> Obviously I do shakes, but I gotta mix it up every once in a while. So I'll do oats or the pancakes. And this in protein pancakes is like, it's so fucking good. So if you haven't tried it, make some cakes. All right, we're stocked up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>